What's good guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Hudson for those of you that don't know. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to get the best possible quality render for export from your computer to your phone and up onto Instagram. So with this, um, a lot of it has to do with how you get it from your computer to your phone, I find anyway. Like the render of course is essential, making sure you've got the right settings, but a fine way a lot of people fall short is getting the clip from their computer over to their phone. Because there's a few methods that people tend to use because it's easy, but it's not always the best way. Say for example, WhatsApp or iMessage. If you're sending it to yourself through WhatsApp or iMessage on the desktop, then a lot of those services compress the file to send it over their uh, platforms. But I'm gonna show you two different ways, one being on the Mac and one being on the PC. So we're gonna start on the Mac and I'm gonna take you straight through into Premiere Pro, which is the software that I'm using. Um, if you're using Final Cut or any other software, hopefully you can follow, on, uh, follow along with similar specs. It is pretty simple with just H.264 rendering out. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, here's the clip that I want to render. And I'm just gonna hit Command M or Control M on a PC and it's gonna take us into this window. So to start with, make sure your drop down on your format drop down is on H.264. And then from there, we're gonna scroll down into the video basic settings. And my sequence is already 920 by 1080. And I've got that checked just to read the same, to match the same property of my sequence. Um, but yeah, just make sure yours is matching. Or if you wanna change it, you can change the width. That's completely up to you. And then from there, we're gonna to go to encoding settings. Yours might look a bit different to this. So what you're gonna do is change it to this. And again, if you're using Final Cut, there's probably different ways of doing this, but in Premiere Pro, you're gonna click profile, make sure it's high. And then on the level, make sure it's 5.2 and then go down and then I leave my bitrate encoding on VBR one pass, uh, the target bitrate between 15 and 20 and the maximum bitrate at around double that. So if it's 15, I put it at 30, if it's 20, I put it at 40. Um, for 1080p clips, this is perfect and absolutely fine in terms of the bitrate. You don't really need to go much higher. If you're going higher, you're just seeing your estimated file size increase, which is not needed because they're literally just for your phone and you're not really gonna see a big difference. So I'm gonna put that back down to 15, put that down to 30, export that out. So once that's exported, you're going to find your clip. And like I said, I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. Right now is the Mac way and it is using AirDrop. And obviously to use AirDrop, you need to have an iMac or a Mac computing device along with an iPhone. And what you'll do is right click your footage, go down to share, airdrop, and then your phone should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, then make sure it's unlocked and your airdrop is open to receive files to, from everyone. And then just click it, and then it will send over to your phone and here it is popped right up on my phone and as you can see I've got the full video clip right here 1080p in full quality and yeah it's looking perfect so the next step I'm going to show you now is in the PC so let me take you over to the PC so now we're on the PC and I've brought my clip over from my Mac just to save a bit of time Obviously you would have done what I've done previous and to get it over onto your phone in the best quality from a PC is using Dropbox. So the best thing to do is go to the Dropbox website, download Dropbox, install it, and you will get two gig free, I believe, worth of storage space to be able to use. And two gigs is more than enough to be able to send small clips back and forth from your devices. So. Right now, I've got Dropbox installed, of course. I'm gonna go over to my Dropbox folder 
and I'm gonna add this clip to my Dropbox. And then once it's added, you'll get a, a green tick to say it's uploaded to your Dropbox cloud. So from there, we're gonna download Dropbox and install it on our phone, log in, and you'll have access to all the files that are in your Dropbox. So let me head over to the phone and show you what that procedure looks like. So now we're in the phone and I'm gonna go over to my Dropbox app, open it, and we're going to see our video here. So you just press on it and it's gonna be there. In this format, it's not gonna be the best quality, so there's no point even playing it to check it. Um, click these three dots at the top right hand corner, press export, and then press save video. And then obviously let it save. Now, once that's saved, you should have got a prompt to say save to photos. And that's obviously your photos app. Now we'll go to our photos app and go to the file and it's right there. So yeah, again, you can see it's got its full quality and from there, you just upload to Instagram as normal and you'll be perfectly fine. Everything should be in the best quality. So I hope that helped. I've had a lot of people asking me recently, so I hope this answers all your questions. If there's any more videos you would like me to do of quick little breakdowns like these, I can whip them up pretty quick. So yeah, just give me a shout, drop me a comment. Um, a DM, whatever it might be, and I will get sorted.